Hey everyone, how are you today? I hope that you're doing good. Day number four of the cleanse. I know some of you guys uh, may still be feeling a little irritated. That caffeine and that sugar is out of your body now. And um, so you might feel a little lethargic or maybe even a little mucusy or whatever. Just know that these are all um, just part of the detox um, system. Like you will maybe not feel great. All right, but keep going, hang in there. So I'm gonna show you another cleanse approved dinner. So over here, I'm gonna take you over. This is Ryan. He's got some really beautiful lentils over here. So they're so pretty, they're red lentils. Um, so I had let them soak overnight and we're putting um, it in some vegetable broth and I have an Instapot. So it's gonna be 15 minutes to make those in um, the pressure cooker. So we're gonna do that really quick. So for those of you that um, hate making beans, especially ones that are like a raw bean versus a canned one, um, you know, if you soak it a couple hours, um, stick it in the Instapot, it's really, really quick to use it. And if you have to use can, just make sure that it's organic and BPA free. And then Pacific is a really good one for your vegetable broth um, to put it in there. So that'll be 15 minutes. And then over here, all right, so Philip is sauteing some onions and garlic, and he's just going to show you quick how to cut a spaghetti squash. So I'm going to do um, a spaghetti squash, and we're going to put some olive oil in that, and the lentils will actually go on top of there as well. So he's cutting it using his powerful knife. <laughs> so this is how you do it. You cut it open. You put me on the spot. <laughs> it must be a really tough spaghetti yeah, spot. Get in right there. On, I'm right on the end. <laughs> so we have some broccoli too. So I'm going to cook some broccoli for our vegetable. Lots of fiber. Um, it's another cruciferous vegetable. So those are really good for gut health and um, fiber to get our fiber. You know, most Americans are only getting about 20 grams of fiber a day. And you really should aim for um, between 50 to 60 grams of fiber. So there we go. We have the spaghetti squash over there. So Tristan, go on and get the spaghetti squash. So Tristan's going to um, put some water. He's going to put probably just about two inches of water in here. Okay. And then what we're going to do, you can start putting the water in there. So what we're going to do with the spaghetti squash is we're, I'm going to actually put a little olive oil on it as well. But then you're going to cook it. Um, with it face down just like that. Okay, so we probably just need a little bit more water, Tristan. All right, so with the seeds and in everything, we're not gonna scoop that out just yet. So um, you're just gonna cook it like this um, in the oven. I'm gonna cook it at 375 for about 35, 40 minutes. Okay, that's what I'll do. All right, so you just put it like that. So we're gonna probably put like three of them in there. And again, I'm gonna flip it over and just put a little olive oil on it. Um, just for taste. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? I should wave at her. I waved. <laughs> All right. So you guys can use, um, you know, if you have an organic sauce that only has a couple ingredients, I didn't have one to show you. You could always do that if you're in a rush, but I'm going to show you guys how to make, um, a fresh sauce using all whole ingredients. Okay. So I'm going to, um, over here, we have Philip who is doing garlic and onions, so he's sauteing those. And then in the Vitamix, I'm going to use these awesome tomatoes. These are called Marzano tomatoes. They're so awesome, and they're really sweet. So it's really good for a sauce because they are um, sweet. So he's going to pull that out. We're also going to put in there um, some fresh basil. So organic fresh basil. So, you know, you, when you use fresh um, herbs, it can make everything taste so awesome. So even when you're eating whole food or you're on a cleanse, using herbs are awesome. And if you have a garden like Stephanie does, she probably has some of these, she can go pick them out. So we're gonna put oregano and then we're gonna put basil. Um, 
in with the tomatoes as well. And we're gonna get the olive oil. I'm not sure where the olive oil went. Oh, there it is. So we're gonna use the olive oil. Um, it's the same one that I've been using all week. And so we're gonna put that in there and we're gonna mix it all up. And then once, once that is done, then we'll add the onions and the garlic, all right? And then once these are done, I'm gonna spoon out the seeds. And you wanna make sure it's cooked really thoroughly so that when you um, take a fork and um, scrape it, it looks just like um, spaghetti consistency. So um, I'll show you guys a picture of that for those of you who, who have never used that before. So it's really cool because we're gonna have a healthy, um, a healthy sauce. Um, all right, so he's gonna just blast that <laughs> Vitamix, I guess. And then the other thing I wanted to show you guys um, before we do that is nutritional yeast, all right? It has a lot of B12. Here's the cool thing, this tastes like cheese, you guys, like it's awesome because um, you can sprinkle this on the spaghetti squash and it's like your par Parmesan cheese. So a lot of people who are vegan actually use this in place of cheese. So if you are somebody desiring to be vegan, this is a really um, good little handy thing to have in your pantry. All right, guys, I'll take some pictures of the finished product, but um, I hope you enjoyed that and um, maybe make that for yourselves. All right, have a great night and post pictures of what you guys had for dinner. You guys are doing awesome. I'm so proud of you guys.